All right, good morning, you guys. It is Wellness Wednesday. I'm Sonia Azad, live from Moncrief Cancer Institute in Fort Worth. You know, colorectal cancer is the third most commonly diagnosed cancer in men and women, okay? But there are ways that you can kind of tweak your lifestyle and that's gonna help to reduce your risk. One of those big ways is dietary fiber. I'm with dietitian Millette Seiler. Good to see you, by the way. It's been a long time. Yes, good morning. Um, and you're gonna help us with some easy ways to increase our fiber intake, and that's gonna help us to reduce our risk for colon cancer. What is the link there? If we intake more fiber, how does that reduce our risk? There's a number of mechanisms. One, it just keeps us regular. We don't want, there's byproducts of digestion that are, make us at risk for colorectal cancer. So we wanna keep these moving smoothly. Um, there's a number, number, number of other recommend, uh, mechanisms, but that's the number one. Um, so that's why one of my number one here, oatmeal. We love it so much. Oats are a natural source of soluble fiber. They're inexpensive. Um, social media is all excited about oatmeals right now and anything that gets people excited about oats, I am all about. Yeah, this is gonna keep you full for longer. Absolutely, yeah. so it's a great source of multiple different kinds of fiber and it also has, I put chia seeds in here, which is a great source of ALA omega-3 fats, which are great for inflammation because we oh, inflammation is linked not only to colorectal cancer, but to other chronic disease. So we wanna keep our inflammation down by uh, advocating a plant forward diet. Okay, this is a great snack option, I love this. Oh, I love this because kids Get, get excited about it. And you know, a lot of people don't think about colorectal health until we're about 50, right? Which is the screening age. We want kids to get excited about, you know, getting, developing a healthy relationship with fiber earlier. This one is great. It's just a peanut butter banana roll up with a little honey drizzle, seven grams of dietary fiber, and uh, lots of protein, low sugar. I want to point out just a tip when you go to the grocery store, guys, make sure you're looking at 100% whole wheat. Um, when you're looking at uh, tortillas, um, bread, yep, crackers. Yep, you gotta read those labels. Don't fall for those We've marketing gimmicks. We've been talking about this this month, yes. Yeah, I know Sonia will keep you in the know. <laughs> All right, dinner so this, time. This is great. So what we're doing what we call the meat extender concept. So uh, everybody knows that ground beef is, meat is getting so expensive in the grocery store. Families are concerned about that. The good news is the foods that are linked to colorectal health are actually not rising in cost as quickly as meat, which is actually linked to uh, an increased risk of colorectal disease. We wanna limit meat to 18 grams or less per week. So this is a great way to do that while still getting that. Some people think, you know, a plant-based diet, I gotta give up my meat. Yeah. We're not asking to do that. Just you add know? a little vegetable to it, yeah. So you got, I've got my meat extenders here, which, which will extend your budget as well. So you've got it all mixed up and I put it here in a taco with an avocado oh, crema. Looks with, beautiful. With yogurt. Yogurt has calcium, also probiotic benefit. Um, we know that calcium helps the lining of the stomach there. We've included plenty of onions and other allium vegetables with the garlic. Also have a direct link to colorectal health. Okay, we are doing this in a very simple way, uh, in an inexpensive way. And Millette and I are gonna be on the Daybreak Facebook page right after this. So you can hop on and ask her questions, learn more about the recipes. Mark and Kara, we'll send it back to you.